Greetings, how are you? This is Jean Dieb Nimani. Welcome to day three of mental fitness, my pre New Year's resolution challenge. Today is day three, and I hope that you had a chance to visit my other videos, and I hope that they helped you out as well. Today, we're going to focus on mental fitness. What are you putting in your mind? So, I want you to just mellow out and just pick a space in your house, light a candle, burn some incense. And if you want, have a glass of wine or some herbal tea and just sit back and relax. I want to share with you what I do every morning or every day when I get an opportunity. I write in my journal. I like colors. Colors make me feel really, really good. So um, I write in my journal every single day, or at least I try to. No matter how small the thoughts may be, it helps tremendously. Because you can go back and read it and be like, hmm, you know, I felt like that, but now I'm good. I'm in a better place. So that always helps. I have a couple of journals actually. Um, also, if you haven't already, you should have a copy of uh, Fit Mentals. It's my CD and um, you can find it on my website. It has some uh, instrumentals on here with me talking. It has a workout. It has everything you need for teens, preteens, um, single parents, couples, everyone. Everyone can definitely benefit from my fitment for CD, so make sure you get your copy, okay? And um, another thing that is very important to me is a vision board. Now, a vision board, I want a lot of stuff, so I'm going to show you my vision board. As you can see, it's pretty, uh, pretty intense. I like colors, once again, but you have to really put on it what you want to bring into your life. And um, a lot of times we say what we want, we verse it to our friends, you know, we may say it over and over in our head, but we never put it down on paper. What are our goals? What do we want? You know, you have to take the time, you know, take some magazine articles and, you know, um, find things that are of importance to you, whether it be a picture of how you want to look, what shape you want to be, what dress you want, what suit you want, the shoes, um, how you want your body to look you know, in a couple of months. Maybe you have a picture of yourself from back in the day when you were hot mama, you know, and um, you want that body back. This is a great way to keep yourself motivated, keep positive things around you, fitness magazines, Essence, or, you know, a magazine of your choice, and um, make sure that you keep positive people around you as well. These are a couple of books that I have collected over the years and uh, these are very special to me. They are actually my poetry books. And this is my first, first, first poetry book ever. I started writing back in March of 2000. And I started writing poetry because it was a positive outlet, a <laughs> positive release to uh, handle my frustrations in a, in a, in a better manner than uh, choking someone I may have been dating at the time. So that's another story. Um, books are full, filled with a bunch of stuff, not just about relationships, but about everything, about being a mom, being a woman, you know, of course, personal things, stories, some make you cry, some make you laugh, but that, that's what poetry is, you know, and we all have a story to tell, so, but it starts with the pen. You gotta pick up the pen and you gotta write. Just start writing. When you start to write, you will be so surprised about how it flows. All right, so poetry books. Also, ladies, when you're going through something with a man um, or a lady, whatever your preference is, um, I read this book called Date Like a Man, and uh, it's by Maria Moore. I read it a couple years ago, and it definitely helped for a space that I was at. And uh, I got a down pack now, you know. Everyone needs a little motivation, so... This was a really, really funny book, actually, Date Like a Man. Yeah, you may want to pick that up. Quick way to get over someone. So you got the CD, you got the Date Like a Man book. We talked about the journals. And I want to share with you some books that I read every day. I take a, you know, maybe just open a book like this. Open a page, read a page if I don't have time to read the whole thing. This is super rich. Russell Simmons, shout out to Russell Simmons, he's always doing some positive things. Love it, love it, love it. And it's not just about being rich, you know, monetarily, as you 
probably if you read the book it's about being rich in spirit and mind and body and just you know engulfing what you have and and being blessed and sharing it with the world fantastic book shout out to Russell Simmons uh, Napoleon Hill this book is old stir but it's a fantastic book and I read it it's like a Bible to me think and grow rich I have so many things outlined in here it's pages are falling apart but think and grow rich for any entrepreneur for any person who has drive who has a dream that they want to come to fruition definitely read this book oh my favorite in the world the secret I talk about this a lot and uh, a lot of people say you know it's basic common sense but sometimes people use this common sense sometimes we have to read over and over and over and really get it you know stuck in our head sometimes we have to see and let it let it digest in our mind mentally and physically and emotionally and really feel what you're reading and let it come to life you know I read a page out of here and I'm ready to just take on the world so this is a fantastic book shout out to Rhonda Byrne uh, make sure you get that and I try to balance my life out spiritually mentally physically health wise um, I try my best to stay on point and this is a fantastic book for single parents or you know couples um, positive discipline for the children it's a great book it's helped me over the years raise my children by myself and um, I can say it's a classic guide for parents or new parents you know whether you just need you're going through something with your teen or your preteen and you just need a little touch up in a certain area you know you get frustrated or things are getting a little tough fantastic book to pick up you know knowledge is power and once you have that you can go so far so got my little jazz playing in the background I shared with you my poetry books and I'm also writing a book called how single parenting saved my life and uh, you get to hear some stories you know you get to definitely hear some stories and some things that I've been through that helped me to get where I am today and hopefully everything that I've gone through you'll learn from and you don't have to go through it and whatever I can do to help you I'm here so just type in mental fitness join my group on Facebook visit me on YouTube uh, youtube.com miss independent 0808 or low um, everything will come up so feel free to contact me send me an email if you have questions um, you know anything you want to learn if I have the knowledge I will share with you thank you for being a part of me because everything I do I do for you so peace love and happiness thanks for stopping by don't forget to come by tomorrow for day four of the pre New Year's resolution challenge good luck I have a surprise for you if you get through all nine days peace